Alright, it's a Wednesday afternoon, I just woke up and I thought to myself, what better way to start off a sleepy, runny, nosy Wednesday morning than to narrate two Pokemon battles of Pokemon beating Pokemon up that account to nearly half an hour, right? So here we are, it's against Better Ed than Smack. I really don't know what that name came from or what it means. Though I'm no name critic and I am no name rater and well, my name is equally stupid anyway, so... I think there was M Madness Mark in the cameo background-ish thing, but he just got covered by the text box anyway because he's such a loser who doesn't deserve a cameo, so... He has a freaking... La la la. Yeah, you can see what he has, I don't have to like... Explain it, but he has a Fiero, which kind of makes me f f regret not bringing a Pidgeot because I was contemplating on bringing one since I did have a new Pidgeot to show off for 5th gen with Hurricane, ha 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 ha. But I didn't because I couldn't fit it in, and if I fit it in, well, I'd get obliterated because I'd have a glaring weakness to rock or something. I just hate it when I have some pokes I want to use all together at once, but then again, they have some glaring weakness and I couldn't. So at least with this Cyro yeah, uh, that thing, and I live with my Dragonite, which I doubt still has the multi skill because I'm a retard, and I do not have the Fire Punch, and even if I did have the Fire Punch, that'll do Jack Diddly balls anyway. So I'm gonna have to send out my 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 my, 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 my what was it? Snow melts, yes, that. And I bought my snow melts because, well, I've been spamming Grace Grace a lot, and I've been an idiot and putting it in the Dream Mode and not saving any extra, so I kind of can't use Grace Grace now. So I'm gonna go for the Eon as he sets out his light screen, which is just pure overkill. I mean, I, do, I bet those things have like base 145 special defense. In fact, I think they do. But he's gonna switch out here. I don't know why he doesn't want that thing asleep, seeing that it's not too much of a threat. But I'm just gonna go for the Miracle anyway, thinking he might want to get an attack off before he sleeps, so I can't yawn anything on his team anymore. And now comes this M ball, and I'm not kinda scared of it because I do have the Orca Berry in case he wants to go for the overheat and such, and I do believe I can live it with max special defense. But he goes for the spec scout anyway, it doesn't really burn me, but I do go for the miracle, it does under half, and I don't wanna stay in because if he scouts me and I miracle him again, it, I would put him right into the blaze range, and his specs overheat will kill me quite badly. I, I know that thing is specs because I watched his earlier videos and he did tell me it's specs, so yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out to my existence, seeing that he hasn't set out his entry hazards yet and he is lo locked into like, uh, Scout. But he sets out this thing again and I know that thing can't touch me aside from Toxic and just to be sure that I don't get Toxic or anything, I'm gonna set out my Come on now honey, don't you worry, you just picked the wrong fight Silly bitch, don't ever think you have control of my life Just disappear, hear the cheer No one's gonna miss you, you'll be a whore forevermore And kiss goodbye to your boo And he goes on confused right? I'm like What? Okay so I am gonna smack myself in my confusion, I don't really think it mattered since I was going for the Toxic anyway And a Toxic Skeptile will just die faster but I doubt it actually mattered, aside from me losing some HP and then gaining it back from leftovers and wasting time in generals. So I'm predicting the Focus Blast or the Brick Breaks, or something to that effect. So I'm gonna set up my Dragon Knight since I do quad resist his stab anyway, I'm not too afraid of this thing unless he has like Dragon Pulse or Dragon Claw, but he goes for the Sword Stance, which kinda makes me think he might have the Dragon Claw, but he goes for the Acrobatics, I'm not too scared of it at this moment because it's not stab, although it kinda is, but... He almost kills me, which means I really sh don't have that freaking uh, multi skill. Why do I keep forgetting that? So he's gonna get his unburden boost unknowingly to me because I'm not too familiar with Dream World abilities or 5th gen Pokemon because I never learn and even when I do learn, I forget it in like 5 minutes. So I'm gonna send out my FD here because I'm scarfed and I'm like, yeah, I can revenge kill this thing with overheat and not get any recoil, right? Well, no! Guess what happens? He has the unburden and he has the earthquake. Bam! I die. Very fun. Very nice. Very productive. Damn you, stupid piece of shit. I swear my FD never does anything in future and I really need to blow my nose now, but I'm narrating. So I'm gonna send out my existence because I'm scarfed with priority, yes, yeah, overkill, and I'm gonna kill it off, and I should've sent this out earlier, but I really didn't know about Unburden at that time, and he did have the acrobatics, so I just switched my FD in as a matter of instinct and got killed promptly. 
So we shall stay around the empty field and see since all this alone. Blah, 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 I really can't do. I really can't pronounce names with blocked nose. Not that I actually do any better with a good nose, but um, I am pretty sure a toxic is coming. So I am going to GTFO and send out my come on now win. I don't do that because it's a water type. Switching my stalker into my water type would be stupid. So he quashes me or soaks me. I really don't remember the name. And I become a water type glacion. Snow melts. Ha 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 ha. What an appropriate name. And I am pretty sure that he can't do anything to me aside from toxic. So I'm just gonna go for the yawn because I don't have anything better to do because I tend to come up with retarded sets, I must admit. And now I'm just gonna go for the mirror code because I am predicting uh well whatever he has he can't hydro pump me since I am a water type so oh hey I went for the yawn predicting a switch like a pro wow I am so good at narrating I should make a, a profession out of this and partner myself on YouTube and then make all sorts of sexual jokes but I think I made that reference enough times and he is going to go for the overheat totally forgetting the effect that he quashed me or soaked me and I, my Glaceon is so boss, it survived a stab overheat specs from an M ball. Oh my god, Glaceon should be freaking Uber, and you all know it. Even though it just died, but even Ubers die, so, yeah. So the field is empty, and we are staring at the screen, with Snowmelt fainted, because that's such a tragic message, we should all take the time and silence to soak that message in, like I should give you now. Snowmelt fainted... The sorrow. Um, yeah, so we are staring at this empty screen and now I'm kind of thinking, now I'm kind of realizing why this video is l as long as it is. So he says how this will be Fiero and I'm thinking that he would predict a switch to my stalker and go for the U-turn, but even though it's super effective, I'm not fearing it too much, but he does go for the step drill pack, which is the worst move that he could go for ever against my mag Magnum. And I'm just gonna go for the Reflect because it's a physical Fero. I mean, which Fero's are special? Then again, before you answer me, I'd rather not know. <coughs> so I'm gonna GTFO to my scum on now, honey, don't you worry, you just picked the wrong fight. Silly bitch, don't ever think you have control of my life. <coughs> maybe I'm even sick, I don't even know. Or maybe I need more coffee. So here I'm just gonna go for the thunder wave, uh, I mean the toxic predicting the switch back to the Olomomoma because that would be the logical thing to do. But he turns out to have bulldoze and I'm like, what the f- no, not bulldoze, drill run and I'm like, what the fuck, isn't that Doryuzu signature move or something, I don't even know, but regardless of the fact, I am going to flinch, which sucks because the game hates me, I know, I've run out of creative thing to say. But he does miss his drill run this turn as a make out for the hex, so I'm just gonna get a thunder wave off. I was still kinda predicting the switch ish, no way I wasn't because if I was predicting the switch I would have went for the toxic but I went for the thunder wave. So now I'm just gonna go for the power gem, it does surprisingly KO, I mean I have no special attack whatsoever. I should quit narrating, I honestly should! Why does stuff not go according to what I think they do go according to ish? So here I'm just gonna go for the Volt Switch because I think all he has left is the Olomomola and I can get a Switch advantage to my Merkinium. I do have the Overgrow Boosted Leaf Storm at this point so I figure why not I'm just gonna win this one with a bang. And win this one with a bang I shall as you shall see right later. Spoilers I win the game ha 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 ha. But you still got like I don't know two thirds of the video left so stick around. Oh wait he has a Swallowed. Damn. But I do have the least C anyway, and I know those things have a, like, like a lot of HP, but I'm just gonna leave it in to die because aside from that alone Momola, which I don't even know if I can outspeed, I don't even know if I have any use for this Meganium anymore, so he's gonna go for the acid spray, total non-overkill, but whatever, I die, I get the least C off, and I can send out my Shedding Jar because I'm pretty certain that he can't touch me, although I'm pretty certain I'm wrong and I'll send out my Stalker anyway, because yes I do. I always get things wrong, so if I say one thing and then correct myself by saying another, I automatically get it correct because that's just the way I work. So he yawns me, I'm not too concerned about it right now, I'm just gonna go for the power gem seeing that I can't toxic it and thunder wave wouldn't really be too much to my benefit. I would rather will always speak with my shedding jar and at this point I'm thinking I should have sent out my shedding jar instead because what are the, ch the chances that this thing can touch me anyway aside from 
I don't know, toxic. But seeing that he has acid spray, I'm thinking he's more of an offensive bulky tank swallow. And toxic kind of wouldn't make sense with acid spray. So I make a ballsy move here and go for my... I thought I was going to switch, but... Oh, hey, I did switch. Indirectly. Ha 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 ha. And his Giga Rain is not stat base 60 or maybe 70 power. And my with my masses of special defense, it's not going to do anything. And I can send out my existence for like no damage. And I swear that Lee Stick could have fueled... My, I don't know, 86, 87 shading just... And here I'm just gonna go for the Willow Wisp like I should, cause I can play his game, but... Damn it, where's my victory gonna come? So he goes for the Yoth, I'm not too sure why, seeing that he, if I was asleep, I would be totally immune to status, and he'd have to hit me super effective to, you know, kill me instead of having multiple ways of killing me, but... I don't even know, I don't, remember, I don't even remember much from this section of the match, I don't know why. So he's gonna set out this Cyro Gone Nail, and I'm just gonna go for the Willow Wisp, predicting like a pro, but... I'm pretty sure my victory comes about now where he misclicks on run. Actually, no, we just disconnect because I never get anything right. So I don't know why the hell I re recorded all this, so let me cut to the next battle. No, I didn't take a break, although I really should because... I really can't rate on blocks, no sirs, and I'm not too awake. So, Bats wants to join you. I'm kinda sad that they changed that line because in Platinum it was XYZ wanted to play with you and that sounded kinda wrong and I like wrong things because this world doesn't make sense and therefore all the wrong things are right and all the right things are wrong. So, although I meant wrong in a different kind of wrong, not the correct wrong kind of wrong but more of the clean and wrong kind of wrong. So he has, well you can see what he has, I'm not gonna pre like s repeat it all for you but he does have that Alomomola again which I don't know, doesn't make too much sense seeing that he has semi rock which is another pure water type but he does have the uh, that I was gonna say his evolved form's name but I, I don't even remember his evolved form's name so that was a double fail. Carablas, yes it's Karablas, isn't it? No, Karablas is sh by shops pre evo so Excalibur. Yes! Yes! That's it! Excalibur's pre evo Oh my god. So he sends out this Durant, which, whose name I actually know, and I don't really know anything about it other than the, his name and his typing, so I thought I should go for the hypnosis and learn about this thing later, but he outspeeds me and rock slides me, and I'm like... Okay. Okay. Okay! You hate me! Why do you hate me so much? <laughs> so I'm gonna set my flash dash because I'm Scarfier eh? and he doesn't really know that because I kinda got one shotted in my last match, although from my shock that his Sceptor outspread me, he can pretty much gather the, from the fact that I'm Scarfed, so he sends out this semi roll while, while I go for the overheat, not predicting like a total f noob, although. If I wasn't predicting at all, I should have went for the flare blades because I have uh, this thing is physically orientated. But now that I actually get to start off my, with my overheat, I can bluff the fact that I'm specially orientated. So maybe I can surprise something later with my flare blades and wild charge. So I'm gonna set up my sniper X because I know ten year olds watch my video. At least I hope not. And well, switching se switching a superior into a semi rod is kind of the cool thing to do. It'll, it'll make me hip and such and get me more subscribers because 5th gen starters versus each other. Who wouldn't want to see that? Well, apparently Bats doesn't because he roosts out and goes to his dual ranch. Which I predict like a pro, but my dragon tail misses, which is just lame. Although, admittedly, if you're gonna do damage and face stuff, I suppose you need an accuracy drop of less than 100 and... Well, it's the first time my dragon tail missed, so it was bound to happen sometime. So I'm gonna set up a physical wall page yard, which gets blatantly critted to hell nearly, but I'm thinking at this point GG because I'm gonna get swept by this stupid thing, but except for my FD and then I get walled by the stupid semi rod dead and flat anyway, so I'm just gonna go for the rules in the off chance that he doesn't go for the aerial lace and misses because he told me he had hustle and had he not told me he had hustle I wouldn't even know that thing has hustle but 
he sends out this Rotom non-appliance and I'm thinking this guy has a lot of balls but I am not gonna stay in because I am a bulky pitcher. I cannot outspeed it and even if I can outspeed it I'm just gonna do absolute jack diddly balls so I'm gonna switch out to my Snorlax hoping that he doesn't will wisp because if he will wisp me on the switch I would be a very unhappy X square with a blocked nose and that means destruction so he's gonna go for the signal beam, I'm guess predicting the switch to the superior, thankfully he doesn't get a confused hex because that kinda sucks. As proven by my stalker in my previous match, but I'm just gonna go for the pursuit now thinking he might switch because I wore him dead and flat, or at least I thought, until he pain splits me and I'm like, how the hell does that work? I mean, we've both not taken a hit at all, and if you were to pain split between the two of us, I would have pain to share while you don't have pain to share and therefore you should be the one losing HP why the hell am I losing like almost half this is ridiculous ridiculous sheer atrocity I tell you so I'm gonna go for the substitute hoping that pain split doesn't work through subs and even if it does work through subs I would have lower HP if I went for the substitute anyway so it was kind of a win-win situation for me and I do I do have enough HP and bulk to not let that thunderbolt do a quarter to me and therefore will not break my sub and my pursuit does look like it's good enough to 2k at this point but I don't know if a second thunderbolt will take me out and I really don't want to fuck around with this rotom anymore it's caused me enough trouble I'm just gonna kill it off without any setting out another substitute I could technically set up a substitute before killing it seeing that he can't always kill my sub but I really didn't feel like being a smart ass around this rotom anymore I, that thing ruins my life I honestly cannot lie besides if I left it like you know sitting around he might go for the pin split and I, it might go through the sub it just might so he sends out this Durant I do not have to fire punch for it but I do have to focus punch in case his hustle decides to let him down at this point and I can get a focus punch off but it doesn't because hustle when does it ever miss you know and I die and before you even answer well hustle missed in this video you can check it out well i don't use hustle and therefore hustle never lets you down learn it people whatever i use will let me down whatever i do not use will not let me down so i'm gonna go for the wild charge predicting a switch to that samuel rod but apparently he's too smart for that and he rock slides me does not miss and kills me I'm letting my FD down, I honestly am, I am playing stupid and retarded with it, I never kill anything with it even though it's a revenge killer and such. So I'm gonna send out my Hunter Type S0, going for the fly because that's my only way of damaging people aside from Toxic, and Toxicing a Durant isn't really up my alley, you know, so he crits me again, which is just typical, but I suppose it's better than him going for the Rock Slide, but... If he went for the rock slide, I'm pretty sure I would have flinched in anyway because the game hates me and now he's gonna stay in be nice and let me kill him because I kinda am desperate at this point if you can't really tell so silence intermission break time oh yes I should probably drink some water right now <sighs> oh my god nothing has have even happened yet <coughs> Maybe I should go take a nap, or just stand here and admire my PGO in my shitty webcam quality that I probably shouldn't be calling shitty because I'm holding it in my hands right now and I'm speaking into it. So, I'll cause a wheezing which was my S0 did and before anyone calls it SO, it's S0. If you call it SO, I will personally haunt you down and slap you across your face 10 times over. So, I am going to go for the rules because it's kind of those why not things and... I am pretty glad that he didn't willow wish me, although at that kind of health willow wish kinda of wouldn't make sense, but I don't know, maybe he should have predicted my rules, but I'm not him, so what should I be who am I to say what he should or shouldn't be doing? I'm not his mother, you know. Or father, because I'm a guy. So I'm gonna send my Aoi Yuki right now, my only other singles Glaceon that I can use aside from Snow Melts and Grace Glaze, because Glaceon is banned. Grace Glaze is stupidly dumped into the dream world by me because I have a brain. So this is my only Glaceon that I can use so hopefully it kind of works out in my favor but I can already tell it's not because this thing is meant to be used early game and it's not meant to do damage. It's supposed to you know slow shit down. Well they send out their counter and I can you know baton pass out to an appropriate switch in and such and wish protects. 
You know, had I have my Glaze Glaze at that point, that Weezing would have been dead. DEAD! Or maybe even Glaceon, my Salak Berry Glaceon, but that's not legal, as I've said a billion times over, but I'm just stalling for time, and everyone is talking to me while I'm narrating, although... This is a half an hour video that I'm narrating, I suppose people would interrupt me, but... I mean... Why do people never talk to me when I want to, them to talk to me, and when I don't want people to talk to me, like I'm narrating or watching a video, they talk to me. THEY TALK TO ME! <coughs> that, if you get the reference of that song, I will love you to hell and back, because that's my favorite song of all time. Probably. I, I really suck at p picking favorites in songs, but regardless of the fact, I'm good. <coughs> See, when I say regardless, my nose kind of got me, so... Regardless of the fact, I'm just gonna go for the Toxic on that Kara... No, not Kara Plus. Excalibur's free Evo, but... He is too smart for that. Apparently, he predicts my toxic, even though I haven't shown this Pidgeot to anyone in 5th gen yet. In fact, the last time I used it, it was like ages ago in 4th gen, so. I pretty much just leave my Hunter type S0 to die because with this reasoning around, what can it do, honestly? I could whirlwind it, but it does involve taking a Thunderbolt to the face and he can just switch it back in, and I do not have Stealth Rocks up because I am a firm believer of non Stealth Rocks because I want every Pokemon to be, have the chance to shine. And Stealth Rocks ruins some Pokemon, outright ruins them. So, even out of UU, I mean out of NU 4th Gen, I don't really think I'll be using Stealth Rocks because I hate Rapid Spinners, they do not appeal to me, and I really do not want to take up a slot on my team and a slot on their move slot just for a Rapid Spin. It's too limiting, I don't like it. Even though I have a Shedding Gel on my team, I refuse to pack a Rapid Spinner because I hate Rapid Spinners, all of them. Because they they just don't have the room for me to be creative. Okay, because the popular Rapid Spinners already have their own sets on small... <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. The popular Rapid Spinners already have their own sets on small bone. The non-popular Rapid Spinners are either weak to Stealth Rocks and or just outright suck. And when I have one move dedicated to rapid spin, I only have 3 slots to be creative with, and that's not fun. <coughs> that does it, I'm sick. So the Weezing finally dies, with little to no damage to my Aoi Yuki, although it did kill off my Hunter Type S0, and he's gonna send out that Samuel Rod right now, I don't really know it was Scarf at this point, but I really didn't re have anything else to do other than Wish Protect at this point, or Icy Wind or Baton Pass. Guess which I actually go for? I go for the IC win because it's the most remotely useful thing ever right now. He goes for the Hidden Power, it's super effective, and I'm just hoping it's not fire because my last is a superior, and Hidden Power fire isn't fun when I have a superior, obviously. So he is going to kill me off with a second Hidden Power fire while I get burnt to death because apparently. Apparently what? I don't even know what I wanted to say. You know what? My brain isn't getting enough oxygen because I'm talking non-stop while my nose is being blocked, so... I'm gonna go for the coil here as my last dish resistance because... Well, I know I can't get past that freaking bug evolution thing, Amajix, that might have the Eviolite, but... Regardless of the fact, he's gonna hasten the entire process and kill me off with a crit hidden power fire, which is just typical, but... I don't know, I might have been in overgrow range and Leaf Blade would have murdered that thing to hell and back, but that's a good game, bets. We should rematch sometime, I played like a total idiot in our second battle, so yeah, good game and goodbye people. I should get my Grace Glaze back, I honestly should.